Welcome beginner crocheters. This is Tasha from Start a School Crochet. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to do a very basic beanie for absolute beginners, and we're going to add some little ears on top of it. So grab your supplies, five millimeter hook, pen, scissors, measuring tape, and also two skeins of yarn in your favorite brown and white colors or whatever colors you choose. Grab your measuring tape. We're going to measure your head. You want to measure around the circumference. These charts are available on the blog and there's a link down in the description below. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to measure your circumference and then determine what your crown size is. So mine is 22.5 for my circumference around and then 7.5 for the crown height. So we're going to start off with a magic circle and a lot of people don't like this. You don't have to use a magic circle. This is the slow version where you just wrap it around hold on to it and then you insert your hook and pull the second string kind of twist it around and then chain one you can use two chains and then work into the first chain too after you complete your magic circle you want to chain one pull out the little string in the middle and then we're going to work six single crochet into that magic circle pause the video anytime you feel like it this is an absolutely beginner tutorial so Please don't feel like you're rushed. Just take your own pace. Make sure you count your stitches and then pull your ring tight. For round two, we're going to start off doing a single crochet in the very first stitch. And we're working in the round continuously, so we're not going to do chains. Now this is something that's going to happen every single round because you want to keep your place. I usually pull my hook out because it helps, but we're going to mark the very first stitch of each round so that you don't lose your place and it keeps it easy. Make sure you keep that stitch marker tight, but if you don't have a stitch marker, you can always use something else like a bobby pin or even a piece of yarn. So there we've done our second single crochet and we're going to work two single crochets into each stitch around, including that first stitch. So. By the end of this round, you should have 12 single crochets. It's always good to count your stitches after each round. So go ahead and start in that first stitch marker and then work your way around and you should have 12. And now we're pull, pull the ring tight too. You wanna to make sure that that's really tight. Take out your stitch marker and we're gonna do one stitch into the very first single crochet and then mark it again. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can always use a bobby pin or even a piece of yarn. So next we're going to work two single crochets into the very next stitch, and that's going to be an increased stitch because you're working two single crochets into one stitch. And you're going to repeat that around, so the next stitch will be just one single crochet, and then the next stitch after that will be two. Repeat that around one single crochet and then two in the next until you reach the other side and you should have 18 single crochet by the end of this round. So there's a magic formula to this. We're going to be increasing by six each round and my diameter measured 7.5. So I'm going to work my crown size to 7.5. Yours might be different, but the general size head is around 7.5 for an adult head and this is what I have so far I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and then count my stitches to make sure that I have 18 going around yep I have 18 so that's good to go and now we're going to start working on the next so we're going to take our stitch marker out again just like we did before and we're going to do that every single round insert your hook and do a single crochet And now we're going to work one more single crochet into the next stitch and then in the next stitch after that we're going to do two single crochets. So the first time around we just did one single crochet, now we're doing two single crochets. We do one in each of the next two stitches and then we're going to do two in the stitch after that to do an increase. 
and that will increase us by six for each round for this. So we do one, one in the next one, and then two in the next one. And keep working around like that until we get to the beginning again. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 stitches. We're going to remove that and we're going to start on the next one. And it keeps going on like this. If you get bored or you're a more advanced crocheter, feel free to just skip along. So that we did one stitch. Now we're going to do one in the next. And we're going to do another one. So we're going to single crochet into the first three stitches and then do an increase into the next stitch. And we're going to do two in that one stitch and repeat that around. So you're going to work one, two, three, and then work two into the next stitch and that's your increase. And we had 24 on the last round, so this round will be 24 plus 6. Now you can see that it's starting to have little points of where you do your increases. So there's a way that you can stagger the increase so that it doesn't look as pointy on certain ends, but you want to work it until it measures about 7.5 inches or whatever the diameter you chose from the chart. And I'm going to go ahead and start measuring mine now. So right now it just measures a couple inches. I still have a long way to go. So we're going to do this again and we're going to do one in each of the next four stitches starting with our first stitch there. And then we've got two, three, four, and now we're going to do our increase in the next stitch. And then I'm going to work four more stitches and then do an increase in the fifth stitch. Make sure you count along the way. Sometimes it can be a little confusing when you're first starting out and you might come to the end of the round and count your stitches and then it not be the right number of stitches and then get all mad and be like, what just happened, but you can just frog it back. It's not a big deal. So you should have 30 stitches at the end of this round. And here we go. So this is what I have so far and you can see the increases make little points and I'll teach you how to stagger your increases so that it doesn't make those little points and it becomes a little bit more round. So now we're going to work our next round and go into the first stitch. Make sure you mark it. And then we're going to work, that's number two, three, four, five. And then we're going to work our increase stitch. So this round we're going to do five stitches, one in each stitch, and then work an increase into the next stitch so it'll be the sixth stitch that you work your increase into in this round and then by the end of this round you should have 36 stitches so here's what i have so far and you can see that it's it is a little hexagonal i'm going to go ahead and measure it so i have about two inches total four inches diameter so we're going to get started on the next round and I'm going to go ahead and remove my stitch marker. And in this round, we're going to work six single crochets and then increase in the seventh stitch. So go ahead and mark your stitch again. And I've got one, two, three stitches, four stitches, five, but I'm not liking this hexagon shape. So I'm going to try to stagger it after I finish this round. Okay, so here's what I have so far, and it is definitely hexagonal, so I'm going to try to make it a little more circle-like. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker, and in this round, you want to work your first, we're going to do eight stitches total with an increase. So you're going to work your first three stitches. 
So I've got one, I already worked two, and number three. Then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to work four more stitches and you repeat that around. So that's one, two, three, four. And since we started off with three, we're going to do three more and then do my increase. Now I've come to the end and let's see what we have so far. So far, yeah, it looks like it made a perfect circle. That's much better. So I'm going to go ahead and measure it and see how far I am. And I'm still only at six inches. So keep going, keep doing the rounds and increasing by six each round until you reach your desired diameter. Let's see, where are we now after this round? Okay, I'm still not where I need to be, so I'm going to do all the way up to 7.5. When you're customizing a beanie for yourself, it's all about trial, error, and measuring. So this is what I have so far. Yay! So keep measuring, crocheting, and then try it on now and then. This looks like it's starting to get to just the right size, so I'm going to go ahead and measure it and see how it measures up. Okay, let's see what we have so far. So now I'm just at about seven inches. So I'm going to try it on again, see how it fits. And it looks like I made it just a little bit too big. So I'm gonna frog out the last round and then I'm gonna start doing my single crochet rows. And this is where you just start doing single crochets over and over again until it reaches your crown depth. And it looks like it's starting to fit and this time you fold over your hat and you measure it from the center down like this all right i'm going outside because it's a beautiful day and i want to crochet outside all right let's try this on all right it's coming down a little bit further farther further farther how big do i want my brim to be i think i need to keep going well, it looks like it's turning out pretty good, and I'm not quite at seven inches yet for the length, so I'm going to go ahead and keep working on it. Keep going. Okay, let's see what the progress is on this. I am so bored right now, but let's go. All right, so it looks like I'm getting right to the point where I might start working my bread, baby. Let's measure. Total, you want to be the entire from the top down to here. And you can look at that chart to get that hat height. So right now, mine is measuring about, oh, I don't know, five inches. And my hat height was seven. So if I want a two inch brim, then this would be the perfect place to stop and to start doing a brim because I want my brim to be about this long. So this should be, well, I like a little bit of a thicker brim. I look like an egg corn. I look like an egg corn right now. <laughs> okay, since this feels like a skull cap, I think I'm going to, I feel like an egg corn and it looks like a skull cap, which is weird. Okay, so next step is I'm going to measure, and then if I'm at the right spot, I'm going to head over to the couch and work on my brim and watch Emma in the moment. Hi, friends. I'm back. So now I'm getting cozy on my couch and going to finish out the last few rows. I'm watching Emma in the moment. If you haven't seen Emma in the moment yet, she's a really great YouTuber, and she's a crafter, knitter, crocheter, but she does videos on crochet drama and knit drama and all the other kinds of drama and it's just kind of nice to sit there and watch and listen to her she's so cute and she reminds me of my eighth grade self like i mean just reminds me exactly of my eighth grade self like if i had a youtube i would have been emma in the moment <laughs> let's get down to this though because ah, i'm getting sidetracked so i measured my beanie hat and I just love this color I'm, I'm really digging the brown anyway so this is looking like it's about the right way that I want to want it to fit my head first I'll do a row of double crochet around I'll do a round of double crochet and then I'm going to do 
a front post double crochet on every other stitch. So that's what I'm going to do with mine. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you on the other side and I'm going to watch Emma in the moment. Emma, here is the big reveal. I really like the way it turned out. I did all single crochets and then I did three rows of double crochet front and, put, front and back post. And I have tutorials for all of those. So if you don't know how to do those yet, I can teach you no problem. I'm going to go ahead and create a set of little ears because I really like animal style beanies. And I did a kitty cat meow beanie a few years back. But I really think that this simple, simple beanie will look really fun with a couple set of little bear ears or something. Okay, so here's what I have so far. And you can stop here. This is your basic beanie, you did it. Congratulations. But if you wanna keep working ears, we can do that. Go ahead and weave in your tails. And remember that this brim pattern is gonna be on the blog. So measure your hat, make sure it's the right size for your head. And I really like it. My, mine turned out really great. I love it. And here's me modeling it without the ears. Ta-da, yay, hooray. Okay, so I'm going to work these ears on and I'm going to write down this pattern. This pattern is also available on the blog. I'm going to try to position it and see where I want them and use a little stitch marker. So to do the ears, we're going to start off with our ivory yarn. We're going to do a magic circle and then chain one. And here's the slowed down version of a magic circle. In case you missed it the first time around, you wrap your yarn around your index finger and your middle finger. Grab onto it with your ring finger, insert it just like that, and then pull the second string in towards you, kind of twist it around, pinch it with your index finger and your thumb, and then pull out your other two fingers, and then you're going to chain one. And now we're going to do a stack single crochet. So you start off with a single crochet and then you work into the left leg of your single crochet. Yarn over, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two. Let's do a slowed down version. So you have a single crochet. You're going to go down to the leg that's on the left hand side. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through two. Next we're going to work a double crochet into the ring and we're going to do that one, two, three, four, and we're going to keep working until we have ten, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then 10. So after we have 10, you count them, make sure you have 10. Then after you do have 10, you're gonna pull the ring tight. Now we're gonna work a stacked single crochet like we did before. So you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and then do a single crochet. Then work into the left leg and yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Here it is again in slowed down version. So you're gonna work your first single crochet into the very first stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. That completes your single crochet. Now working into the left leg of that single crochet. Then you're going to grab your yarn and pull up a loop. So grab it, pull up your loop, and then yarn over again grab your yarn and pull it through two. And there we have a stack double crochet. And now we're gonna work another double crochet into that same stitch. Work a double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're gonna work two double crochets into the next stitch. Work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then we've got one, two double crochets into the stitch after that. 
then a double crochet into the next stitch and we've got two double crochets into the one after that work a double crochet two of them into the next stitch and we're going to do one two double crochets into the stitch after that and that's what we have so far so you should have 15 double crochets and if i'm going too fast please feel free to head over to the blog for the written pattern i'm going to go ahead and count my stitches because i always want to make sure i count my stitches so now we're going to grab our brown yarn and we're going to do the exact same thing with our brown yarn so you're going to work your magic circle chain one had a little trouble with this one then we're going to do a stacked single crochet oh yuki's coming to visit me now and and then we're going to do a double crochet we're going to double crochet 10 into the ring so we have three so far with the stacked double crochet and then we have four hi yuki five six seven Oh, she's so sweet. Eight. Nine. Let's see how many I have. I think I need one more. Let me count them first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, nine. I need one more. Okay, so ten. And now I'm going to pull the ring tight. Now we're going to do the same thing we did before and we're going to chain one, turn it, and work a stacked single crochet. And then work one more double crochet into that same stitch. In the next stitch we're going to work a double crochet. And then in the next stitch we're going to work two double crochets. So we've got one, two, in the next stitch, we're going to do one. And in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. In the stitch after that, we're going to do one double crochet. Yuki is all up in my way. And after that, we're going to work two double crochets in the next stitch. So we've got one two then we're going to work another double crochet in the next stitch and work two double crochets in the last stitch and two double crochets again in the very very last stitch and that should give you 15 stitches around One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, got 15. So now we're going to join both pieces so you can just pull out and tie off the end. Then lay the white piece on top of the brown piece there. And you just want to match up the stitches. Chain one, turn your work insert your hook through the brown piece and then through the same stitch on the corresponding white piece and then do a single crochet and then you're just going to single crochet through each stitch of both pieces until you reach the other side and you should have 15 single crochets by the time you reach the other side Okay, now I've reached the other side. I'm doing my last single crochet. And now we're going to attach it. And you can see I already attached the other one. So now I'm just going to insert my hook and pull this through so that I'm tying it off. And you want to leave a long tail. So you can stuff these if you want. I just usually stuff my tails inside to save myself some time from weaving it in. Because once you 
sew it to the top of your beanie. It's going to be very secure. But you can stuff these if you want, but I find that it has a lot of volume without stuffing. So you want to make sure that it's even. So count the number of rows from the center down. And you can place these wherever you want, but I found that putting the beanie on my head and then counting back and placing them evenly apart helped a lot. So once you find your placement, then you're going to thread your needle on and just start weaving it in. And you want to go through both pieces. It can be a little bit quirky working with it, sewing on the ears, because you want to get it at the right angle. But you can use pins or safety pins or however you want to attach it. I didn't really attach it with much here. I'm just going through and weaving it in as I go. I kind of am wild like that. I like to play it by ear. Har, har, har. So just keep sewing it on and attaching it. Then flip it around to the other side and just keep working down the front side. And then once you feel like it's very secure and it's not going to fall off, Make sure you weave in your tails and then just snip it and then repeat that for the other side so you can count over how many you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mine was about eight or nine rows over and then attach the other side. Woohoo! We did it! This is my cute little bear pattern and I really love this pat. I've been wearing it every single day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as an absolute beginner. Remember to head over to the blog for all the resources, and I hope you guys had a great time. I had a fun time teaching. Thanks so much for being here, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell button to get notified of all my future video tutorials.